Welcome to episode 1523, Daniel Sunham, hedge fund billionaire at age 45, eight lessons. This is an outline of episode 1523, lesson one to four. This is lesson five to eight. Lesson one, the investment philosophy of D1 Capital Partners. Are you actually pretty valuation sensitive or? We're, we're very valuation sensitive in, in all stocks. I mean, it's one of the things that really drives a lot of our uh, investing activities. Um, we lead with valuation, you know, valuation business model management team. We look at three things. That are, you know, we don't spend a lot of time trying to predict quarterly earnings. Uh, and two, there are three parts of his business, private, long, and short. Private positions. You know, we have three businesses. We have privates, we have, you know, uh, long stocks, and we have short stocks. And... You know, I'd argue, you know, privates hopefully should be our most lucrative given that, you know, it's illiquid. So you... Three, reputation and core principles. And work with uh, D1. Yeah, look, our reputation's everything and our reputation's built to, built upon being a great partner to founders, working closely with them. Uh, do, and, uh, you know, there's certain things we do. We don't invest in compet- direct competitors. Of our- stick by those principles. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you're only as good as your reputation, and so we, you know, do everything we can to make. Lesson four, his best year, 2020. In 2020, the return of D1 Capital was more than fantastic. It was 60 percent. Lesson five, 2021 was a turbulent year, and came the disaster. In January 2021, his firm lost four billion dollars and that's 20 percent of his capital due to the GameStop short squeeze as in six tolerate short-term volatility for long-term growth um human nature places uh, a premium on um reduced volatility in the short term um i think at the expense of higher returns in the long term Lesson seven, durable cash flow and lowest cost producer. And if you, you know, they'll still be growing, you know, way north of uh, GDP, clearly multiples of GDP. And if you look out like, you know, 10 years from now, I'm not sure that Amazon has to the multiple, usually multiples obviously come down as growth. You know, business like Costco, um, it obviously grows at a fraction of Amazon. And why? It's like, you know, multiple obviously has a lot to do with growth, but also to do with durability of cash flows mm-hmm. and Costco is viewed as being extremely durable. They're a low cost provider. You know, they, they sell staple like goods. I mean, Amazon. As an A, diversification. Sunham bought a minority stake in the NBA basketball team, the Charlotte Hornet, from majority owner Michael Jordan. The purchase amount is undisclosed. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.